Alright dudes, it's no secret that bats are some of my favorite animals on this planet. I mean, they're mammals that fly. Thank you, Convergent Evolution! But they get such a bad rap. They're seen as rodents with wings, or this time of year they're seen as dark, spooky, scary creatures of the night. But they're so not scary. They're adorable and awesome. I Tumblr refers to them as sky puppies. But you know what actually is scary? North American bats are in grave danger. A deadly disease is sweeping the country. That's so science. Since 2006, over 5 million bats have succumbed to a disease called white nose syndrome, caused by a fungus P. destructans. This crazy disease can be traced back to a single source. It is thought one hiker brought the disease over from Europe on the soles of his shoes. The fungus has been identified in some European species of bat, but the disease doesn't seem as deadly to them. Perhaps they co-evolved with it, but North American species have no defense. Since 2006, it has spread from one cave in New York to over 25 states and Canada. The reason it has spread so quickly is because it thrives in the exact conditions North American bats hibernate. It loves dark, damp, cold caves. And North American bats love these kind of caves and they hibernate in large numbers to stay warm throughout the winter. And when bats hibernate, they lower their core body temperature and suppress their immune system to conserve energy. Unfortunately, this leaves them incredibly vulnerable to infection. And because there's so many bats squeezed into one cave, the fungus spreads quickly from bat to bat. It's called white nose syndrome because of the external signs of infection are a white fuzz on the bat's nose and on the wings. The fungus hurts the bats by invading and degrading the connective tissue, leaving them dehydrated and itchy. So during hibernation, bats are literally woken up by this itch and they start to fly around because they're hungry and their fat stores are lower, so they go hunting. But it's winter and not many insects are to be found. Sadly, a lot of bats die of cold and starvation. With over a 90 to 100% mortality rate, a lot of the species like Indiana bat, which is already endangered, Ozark big-eared bat, Virginia big-eared bat, and others are in grave danger of extinction. While you can't put a price tag on cuteness or evolutionary coolness, it is estimated that bats are worth $3.7 billion in reduction of crop damage and pesticide use in the United States. If you don't care about cute animals, and if you don't care about biodiversity and evolutionary coolness, and you like food, you might want to keep bats around. Just saying. So this is all scary and terrifying. Well, what can we do? This summer, the Forest Service issued a five-year closure in 12 states on certain caves. That's a great start. Another way is for hikers and cave explorers to learn decontamination procedures. This involves a lot of bleach. It seems that the fungus spreads from cave to cave, most likely on the backs of hikers, literally, on the soles of their shoes or on the equipment they carry. So decontamination is crucial to stop the spread of this deadly fungus. Decontamination procedures are in a link down below in the description. Please check those out and spread them to all your cave exploring friends. Yet this may not be enough. Perhaps we could harness the power of fungus to fight fungus. Researchers from Georgia State University identified a fungus another fungus that inhibits growth and spore germination in P. destructans. Perhaps that's an answer. Further studies clearly needed. Either way, the answer is out there. The most we can do right now is research and raise awareness. Please tell your fellow cave explorers to decontaminate after each cave visit. For more information on why bats are awesome and how we can save them, check out batcon.org. It's the website for Bat Conservation International. They're pretty cool peeps. Alright dudes, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button, and follow me other places on the internet. I'm on Twitter and Tumblr. I just really love bats. I just want to put them in a basket with bow ties and hug them, but I can't do that. I can't hug all the bats.